Hey everyone, quick video here on how to add a custom style file or style sheet uh, to the check style plugin in Eclipse. Now I've already got mine installed, you might be able to see that, but if you haven't, you'd simply search, you can do that here, or I've got, as you can see, numpad zero for search, so I'm just gonna hit that. And, no, not plugin, install new software. And from there, simply type the name check style. Now again, I'm not going to do this, but if I see it pops up, if it exists, you can double click that and then tick that and you run through the installation process. So I've already done that on mine. You'd probably want to restart your Eclipse. Once you've then done that, right click on the project folder that you want to activate check style for because it doesn't activate immediately. Come down to properties and then come over to check style on the left. From there you want to tick check style active for this project and then go to local check configurations tab in the top and you'll see nothing here then go to new and if you've got the file external configuration file now mine is made by a, a teacher at my university so i've been given the name to use and then i just simply find that file on my computer and okay now i could protect it i think that would just you know, make it read only. So it's probably a good idea, but I won't do that because I'm not 100% sure. Press OK, go back to the main tab again, and then change this here. Okay, that's what I need to do. And you see Marcus checks locals. So it's got the name I gave it, and it's local because it's a file on my computer. And then I have to apply and close. And it will rebuild. So yeah, make sure you're happy with that. Yes. And you'll see it's highlighted it. Now it's a bit hard to read in the dark theme, but what you can do from here is, and this is actually, if I hover over at least, it'll say must be private and have access to methods. Okay. Class should contain a constructor and also all the different types of naming conventions. It will flag up as well. And so if I did change any of these, you know, to meet the criteria, so empty description section, I've missed that out. I thought it was up here and I could put in something like description, save it. And I don't know why, but in my version, it doesn't auto update, but if I run the main, even though there's really nothing to do with it, then it updates and you can see that highlighting has gone. So that's basically how you install and use the check style plugin with a custom configuration file. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. Check out another video on the channel. I'll see you soon.